Very good. Now, these kids are just learning the ropes of the game, but they're the fans and players of the future. Now, while the kids are doing their skills clinic, I'm going to knock up a little bit of something for them to snack on. Everyone loves a pizza, but what if you reimagined it as a really elegant bread instead? First thing you'll need is a quarter of a cup of baker's flour. Pop that into the bowl of your electric mixer, along with two sachets of yeast. That's 14 grams if you're measuring it out. A couple of teaspoons of brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of warm water. Now, we use baker's flour for a very important reason. It's got more protein, which gives the dough stretchiness, and that's what traps the gas made by the yeast. That'll make the bread rise. Pretty cool, huh? Then just mix it together gently and leave it for about 10 minutes until it's foamy. That's just the yeast coming back to life. Fantastic. Look at those bubbles. This is coming along gloriously. To finish the dough, you just need another 550 grams of baker's flour, a couple of tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, another one and a quarter cups of water and a little bit of salt, then let it mix on medium speed until it's beautifully smooth. Well, there you go. That looks absolutely perfect. At this point, we just need to wrap it and leave it aside to rise. Now, if you're somebody who doesn't have a stand mixer like this, yeah, you can always do it by hand. But I would recommend putting it on your Christmas wish list. It makes life so much easier. While the dough rises, time to get on to our filling ingredients for the pizza. Ah, ready to go pizza sauce. That's always a great shortcut. As for the rest, start by slicing up some red onion. the pork sauce beautifully in pieces, pop it into a bowl. And remember, it came with a sauce. Don't waste it. It's got loads of flavour. We'll mix that in as well. As for the rest, some olives, cheese, pesto, and a personal favourite of mine, roasted capsicum. That's just perfect. And how about that dough? I promised you a great result, didn't I? And trust me, this is absolutely fantastic. At this point, it's really easy. You divide it into four pieces. Then each one, you're going to roll out to a log about 40 centimetres long and flatten each one off so it's about 10 centimetres wide. Nice and even. And then we're going to fill them. First up, pizza sauce. Next, some pork. Then onions. Olives, capsicum, and cheese. And it's the little finishing sprinkle of pesto that makes it magical. At this point, what you need to do is to wrap it up, sealing the two sides together to make kind of like a pizza tube. Rightio, so these are four tubes done. Now, what we're going to do is braid them together. If you've never done a four-part braid, it's actually easier than you might imagine. It looks absolutely fantastic when it's baked. What you do is you pinch all the ends together away from you and spread them apart. And number them left to right. One, two, three, and four. Then, gently, you put two over three, four over two, then one over three. Spread them apart. Tense it up and redo it again. Two goes over three. Four goes over two. One goes over three. Then pop it onto a lined tray, cover it with cling film, and it's going to need to rise for about an hour. And to bake, pop it in at 180. It's going to need about 40 to 45 minutes until it's deeply golden. Pieces of pizza bread for everyone. The great thing about it, it's so easy to serve. You just rip it off, and it's an absolute pleasure. Oh, here we go. What do you like about it? Uh, I like everything. Excellent. And what about you? Everything as well. Yeah. <laughs> we have an absolute winner here. No matter who you're barracking for on Saturday, knock up a batch of pizza bread, and your mates are going to absolutely love it. And by the way, enjoy the game. Footy!